Okay, hello, this is Andy Sandham. So, just from the start, taking a, some mocap data into Unity and using Umotion to fiddle with it. So, I've got my character in. Uh, so, if you bring in your texture first, texture page first, and then your FBX, it should texture it properly. Um, so, let's just have a look at the rig. It says generic, we want to change that. To humanoid, apply that. Thank you. Uh, animations. We want to also make this humanoid. Thank you. Um, and so the next step is that we want to. Um, so this character is rigged, by the way. Uh, I think it's Mixamo rigged. Um, so next up what we want to do is we want to set up Umotion so we want to go to window and we go to editor and we go to clip editor and then we can dock that down there so this is uh, 2018 2.9 um, unsure how it works on the more recent versions so pose editor let's get that over there so oh. so this is grayed out because we need to set up a new project so let's just set up a humanoid project. Uh, let's put it in assets. Let's put it back in Andy again. Let's put Umotion projects. Uh, and let's just call it T Lady One. T Lady. T Lady One. Okay. Uh, right. So now we get access to all of this. So let's drag the lady into the uh to get into the scene let's just zero her out okay and reset position so let's zoom in so she's tiny sized uh so let's just scale her up don't know why but let's just go with it so she's got zero in that axis which means that she is a two-dimensional being um so now she's the three-dimensional being so this is kind of a placeholder uh, character but it's fine for the purposes of testing this out so next up what we want to do is we go to the clip editor we go to the pose editor so we want to drag her into there it says do you want to uh, create a configuration for the new rig happy days look it's done it really super fast and so next up we want to so you can basically check out your rig very useful tool checking out your skin um, and next up we want to import clips so yes I do want to continue thank you so we're going to add clips so let's look at the assets and the animations this one here let's open that and then let's add that let's import that okay so let's just stick with this and see how long it takes could take many hours or could take a few minutes okay so that was super quick all cool uh not warnings not failed great so we can see that the problem here is that we've got the uh, overlapping squeezy arm situation that's come out of the rig mix with the mocap animation. Let's just try and play that. So you can, uh, the other thing is that you can add, if you want to get a proper animation window set up, what you can do is you can go actually up here, add tab scene, and so we can add uh, a if I knew how to work Unity, we can add uh, some orthographic views. So beautiful stuff. Thanks, you motion. Seems to be slightly moving back on the toes, but um, so that's great. So whichever window you select, it's giving you this option of uh, testing your skin. That skin looks fine. Uh, so let's just play that. Um, in my experience this takes a little bit to solve itself is it going to do it? it there we are it's doing it is it not doing it 
Okay, so I've just turned off maximize on play on the game window and on the. Uh, I've just added a new scene window. I think I just showed you that. So you just add tab scene. So you can have uh, auth graphics and uh, your perspective view. So, um, so if you press play up here, we go. It defaults uh, out of the. Uh, seems to default out of the U Motion project and goes back to the T pose. Um, so it loses the uh, the character. Uh, so we just turn that off. Don't, not sure why that's happening or if that's supposed to happen. But if we just uh, drag uh, the tea lady back in there, so we get back to her animation. So then we can, we can, if I can get all of that, we can basically use this uh, set of tools down here to check the animation. Uh, get that bloody stupid light out of the way. Uh, well, okay, seems to be in. There particularly strange orientation there we are so let's just go back to start there and then press play again so yeah so we can now see a bit more clearly um, obviously we can expand that using this tool to be full screen but you can also uh, you can actually edit in real time as well uh, so okay